any matter. So many emotions here in Parktown where the retired Deputy Chief Justice De Khang Musaneke, who's been the arbitrator in this matter, finally saying what these families will be compensated for their grief of losing their loved ones and uh, basically a scathing, very scathing uh, remarks by the arbitrator there saying that uh, those who were in charge of this marathon project had basically uh, uh, taken away the rights of these patients when they were alive and even after they had died. Very scathing as well for the uh, former health MEC Danny Mahlangu as well as the other senior executives with the how of this project and I tell you straight after that announcement was made there Natasha families were hugging each other and uh, a sense of relief uh, from what I could see coming from them without further delay let's chat to some of those family members now we'll uh, speak to sis Christine and Mumala sis Christine it's been a long time coming grief suffering and reliving the pain of losing your loved ones what is your reaction to this announcement here today Look, from my side, I'm very happy. I'm happy because the way the former Chief Justice read out the, what they did, the, the constitutional rights that they violated of our loved ones, and what they did wrong, is exactly what you know, we were trying to, to, to tell um, through this whole process. And the way he laid it out for us could not have been better. Um, you know, it's, it's sad that you know people go through this on a regular basis, but it is absolutely amazing that you have a judge that listens to such incredible detail and actually you know reads it back to you. So in in essence, the families are vindicated, meaning that all this really did happen, and we did not imagine this. Sis Christine. Um a lot has been said in particular about those who were responsible for this marathon project. Uh, yes, now the families will be compensated, but uh, as I spoke to you in the months uh, during these hearings, uh, you as a family had indicated that you would want to see further justice being done and that those who were responsible for this tragedy should be held to account. Uh, what is the view that you hold now uh, given uh, this, uh, this uh, compensation uh, announcement by the uh, retirement? former Chief, Deputy Chief Justice. I think now more than ever we actually want those criminal charges. We're hoping that everything will go according to plan and the, Chief, the former Chief Justice is right. It's not, it's not his duty to tell the police what to do. I mean they waited two years before they actually did their work. It should tell you. So we're hoping that the criminal charges do go ahead. Thank you very much, Sister Christine. Let me bring in Ndate Mukhorane as well, who was also in this particular matter. Ndate Mukhorane, first of all, your reaction to um, the announcement that was made by the retired Deputy Chief Justice. We, as the committee members of the families, are delighted to the announcement. And we say, this is a way of saying thank you. Sorry, I'm mean to say to the families, but we know that cannot bring our families back. But we are also saying that the National Prosecution Authority should also do its duty to bring those perpetrators to book. And we would like to see this happening. And we are very much happy because our Premier is also emphasizing that those who perpetrated must be brought to book. Dr. Mukharane, I am going to join the Premier actually now in the next uh, few moments. Thank you very much for your time, certainly. Let me bring in now the Gauteng Premier, uh, David Makura. Uh, Mr. Makura, thank you very much for your time. Quite a scathing.